Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing first dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Winter White Party at the Garden City Hotel. And happy holidays. And I'm here with the publicist, Sarah Ann Fingerman, and she's going to tell us about this special event tonight and what it's all about. It's going also to a very worthy cause. Thank you so much for coming tonight, Cognac. It's always a pleasure having you. It's always a pleasure to come. It's such a beautiful place. Thank you so much. So every single um, every single season we do different events and it, we always highlight a charity. So for the Winter White Party, we decided to highlight the Hans Family Foundation. And the foundation is so wonderful. It's all about building up the self-esteem of young children. It is a wonderful little girls. Yes, it is a wonderful charity. And this young lady that's going to be singing tonight, she was exposed to something that was not so positive. It was in a little bit on the negative side. And I, I'm, she's bringing a little bit of hope to all these young ladies out here and all these other people to, about the charity. Don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. We're really happy to have Sammy here. We're also going to have another singer later on. Um, we have Andy on the piano, so it's going to be a beautiful night of entertainment. 
And tell us a little bit about the refreshments where we get a little wine, a little champagne, or anything else going on. Well, to keep with the white party theme, we have Santa Margarita. They're our liquor sponsor for this evening, and they're going to be doing passes, and passes out. Oh, very nice. So it's a very special occasion, and it's all for a very good cause. Now, uh, can you tell my audience a little bit more about the Garden City Hotel and why we should all come and stay here or have dinner here at the hotel, especially around this time of the year? Well, um, we're known as the anniversary spot. <laughs> We have the anniversary spot, huh? Yeah, special occasions. We have Polo Steakhouse. We have a new social hour, which is really exciting. Um, four to seven, light bites. Uh, we have the Polo Lounge, the Red Door Spa downstairs. They're actually going to be doing hand massages and oxygen blasts later and giving all our guests a little swag bag with gift certificates. So um, there's so much to cover. There's every single nook and cranny of the hotel is very special. We've been around for over 140 years. That's amazing. And it's so perfect. Perfect access. Right across the street is the Long Island Railroad. So all you have to do is cross the street and you're just another hop, skip, and a jump to Manhattan where you could see a Broadway show. Exactly. Um, that's what a big draw is, the proximity to the train. So if you don't get a spot in Manhattan, if all the hotels are booked, you can always come to the Garden City Hotel. It's a very luxurious hotel, very glamorous and very luxurious. I was told this also by Ms. Susan Lucci, who's a big fan of the hotel. Yes, yeah, Susan Lucci is actually, um, the, we call her the first lady of the Garden City Hotel. We gave her a beautiful event and um, it's always a pleasure to see her. Tell my audience about, are you open for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, or is it just Christmas Eve dinner? We are. On Christmas Eve, we're trying something new this year, and we're going to have the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Oh, that's what I was brought up, because I'm Italian. Yes, it's going to be tr amazing, and you don't even have to worry about cooking. Everything's going to be right here. Christmas Day, we are going to have a beautiful brunch in the Grand Ballroom, and something different that we haven't had in the past is we're going to have a big New Year's Eve party this year. Wow. So we hired the Hot Date Band. They're going to be entertaining us, and we're going to have a beautiful buffet and open bar. We even have a hangover station. So you never had, uh, you never had anything going on on New Year's Eve here at the hotel? And not since the new ownership, no. We have a new catering space. It's called the Kingsley Room. I'll show it to you later. Absolutely gorgeous. It's, um... You've, you've been to the Grand Ballroom, but Kingsley is more of a contemporary feel, and it's going to be a perfect venue to host New Year's Eve. Big screens everywhere to watch the ball drop. Oh, glamorous. Yes. Very nice, very nice. Sounds really quite elegant, Sarah, quite elegant. Tell my audience, if we want to learn more information about this hotel, about anything that's going on here at the Garden City Hotel, where can we go? You could go to GardenCityHotel.com or PoloSteakhouseNewYork.com and all of our events will be listed on there. Gorgeous. Give me a kiss. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here at the Garden City Hotel. Keep watching and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Big champagne kisses.
Rawlings, I'm Cognac Quilalane, and we are here at the Winter White Party right here at the Garden City Hotel. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. And I am here with this beautiful young singer, and she's going to introduce herself to the camera. Hi, I'm Sammy Ray Marciano, and I'm a 16-year-old singer-songwriter. Wow. Now, tell my audience, why did you come to the event? Did Sarah Ann invite you to come to sing? Yes, yeah, so I was here to support an amazing cause and to sing. Why are you such a big supporter of this cause? Um, because it's an amazing cause and... Um, it's a great charity, yes, isn't it? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about your music? Um, so I've been singing for about three years. Um, I just really... Since you're like 13 years old? No, I'm 16 years yeah. old. Okay, yeah. but since you're like 13. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just released my EP um, on oh, iTunes exciting. and Spotify. So, um, yeah, it tells my story. Um, I was bullied, so it goes through a Oh, whole, goodness. Um, it tells my story of everything I went through, getting through it, trusting people again, and then going for what you want and never letting go of your dreams. You should never let go of your dreams, no matter how old you get, is, even if you get as old as me, because I'm 60. <laughs> So never give up your dreams and always pursue what's in your heart because that's the most important thing in life. Now, can you tell my audience what you're going to sing tonight? Um, I'm going to sing two covers, uh, Can I Be and Say You Won't Let Go. So what's this little song again? Can I Be and Say You Won't Let Go. They're both by James Arthur. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. And you know, I love what you're wearing. Thank you're all you. in white because yeah. this is a white party. Can you tell my audience where we can go to learn more information about you as a singer and songwriter? Um, my website is www.sammyraymerciano.com. Spell it. S-A-M-M-I-R-A-E-M-U-R-C-I-A-N-O. And you can follow me on social media at Sammy underscore Marciano. Gorgeous. Give me a kiss, darling. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at the Winter White Party at the Garden City Hotel. Keep watching, darlings. More interviews coming up. And Merry Christmas. Pink Champagne Kisses. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots.
how to live a life of service, how to go out and dedicate ourselves for the better, betterment of others. And the way we chose to do that is, our, is through our own um, program that we created. It's called Beautiful Me. It's an educational-based self-esteem program for girls. Since the summer of 2009, we've put over 37,000 girls through the program. It, what we do is we go into different schools, into different clubs, into different organizations, and we give girls different tools that are going to lead to an enhanced level of self-esteem. And what we've all come to realize is that when there's, a, uh, when there's a female in the room that's got an enhanced level of self-esteem, it's not only good for them, but it's good for everybody else in the room as well. So I don't want to go on too long tonight. I could speak for a long, long time on this topic. But we're over at the table by the front door. I have plenty of information. If you know somebody that would benefit, a female that would benefit from an enhanced level of self-esteem, somebody that's looking to create different tools and, and skills that are gonna make today better for them and better for somebody else and that person better for somebody else, we'd love to come out and meet you and meet your girls. So again, thank you to Sarah Ann, thank you to Garden City Hotel, and let's have a nice day. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Garden City Hotel for the Winter White Party, and it's for a very wonderful cause. And I'm talking to this gentleman who is a part of this organization. He's going to introduce himself and tell us what this is all about. Uh, my name is Warren Hans. I'm the president and the founder of the Hans Family Foundation. It was an organization that was created in the summer of 2009 after my three girls, Emma, Allison, and Katie, were killed in a car accident on the Taconic State Parkway. Oh my God, how sad. Yeah, it's been an exceptionally challenging, you know, eight plus years now. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe it's been eight years. You know, what I say often is time moves fast, even for somebody like me where time has stopped. Do you have any other children? I actually have a spectacular six-year-old girl now. Her name is Casey. She's in the first grade, and she really provides a lot of... Joy. A lot of joy and a lot of motivation, a lot of... A lot of the reason to put one foot in front of the other. I can just imagine what you must have went through when that happened to you. And it's you're a very brave individual to be here to talk to me about this charity and this organization. Tell my audience a little bit about what your mission is, what your goals are for the organization. Well, the mission is to is to reach as many females as possible with our educational based self-esteem program it, it's a program that we created uh, it was created by Liz Monroe and Kate Tuffy a social worker and a BCBA that live in Floral Park and the program's called Beautiful Me it's um, it's a program where we go out we teach mainly in schools and we try to get we try to get in front of as many girls as possible to give them the tools that result in an enhanced level of self-esteem it's so wonderful, it really is. And self-esteem with young ladies is so important. It, it motivates them, it makes them into wonderful adults with creative goals in mind. And you're doing that to help these young people, these young women of today to speak up for themselves. Yeah, well, what I've come to learn over the, the eight years of doing this is it's not just the young girls that the issues that a five-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 20, a 25, a 30, a 40, a 45, 45-year-old female, the issue remains the same through the course of life. It, it verbalizes different, it shows itself differently, but the struggles continue. So we hope to, to get to girls at an appropriate age where some of these lessons can have an impact on one day or one week or one month or one year, but that that, that change on that particular day can have a change in somebody else's life, that can have a change in somebody else's life. And that's the real power behind an enhanced 
highest level of self-esteem. You not only improve yourself, although it's self-esteem, once you have that self-esteem and you have that confidence, you have the ability to go out and help others. So true, so true. Do you have any celebrities that are helping you with this, or backing you up with this, or working with anyone right now? Uh, well, we've had um, we've had a couple different celebrities that have come out and supported us. Cat Greenleaf was our keynote speaker at our first gala. Ann Curry was uh, actively involved in the foundation. So there have been different celebrities that have come out and helped. And uh, we're always on the lookout for anybody that wants to come and learn more about the program and uh, be able to help us move it forward. Tell my audience how you got involved with Sarah Ann and you were able to do this event tonight here at the Garden City Hotel. Well, Sarah Ann, I guess, became aware of us a few years ago at a, a network event that honored the foundation, and she kept in constant contact with us, and she wanted to be able to have an event where we could be the charity of the night, and she could help us spread awareness and raise some money, and that's what we've been able to do tonight. It's spectacular. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to learn more information about your organization, where we could donate, support, and contribute. What is the website? The website is beautifulme.org, and you can find out all different ways to donate your time, donate your talent, donate your money, uh, the different events that we have throughout the course of the year, and you could just kind of follow our story and follow our progress. We've put 37,000 girls through the program to date, and we're just getting started. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews. Keep watching, pick champagne kisses, and happy holidays, and Merry Christmas. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Cry Baby Productions, darlings.